Steve here from VR Roundtable, and I wanted to show you guys something we discussed on a recent episode. I am going to model a simple room, I'm going to do some minor decoration to that room, and then we're going to explore that room using the HTC Vive. The tools that we're going to use to accomplish that are SketchUp, but any, um, or I don't want to say any, but many other modeling applications are viable. I'm using SketchUp because it's one I'm familiar with and one I believe that is easier than, than most to, to start learning. The other tool we're going to use is uh, made by a company called Iris and the particular software is called Prospect. And what this does is you can import that into, uh, import your SketchUp file into it and play it back in VR on the HTC Vive. So let's go ahead and get started. We are gonna do a simple room that is approximately 20 foot by 20 foot. So I am going to type that in, 20 foot comma 20 foot. And there we have that space. Then we are going to, uh, that room needs to have walls. Walls are not paper thin. And before I get going any further, I just want to, you know, I'm not intending this to be a SketchUp tutorial. There are loads of that out on YouTube. Um, although inherently I will describe some of the things that I'm doing uh, just so, you know, you can kind of see what SketchUp itself is. So again, I've created the 20 by 20 box and now I'm going to do an offset. Oops, undo that. So. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. Okay, I think I need to deselect the problem. There we go. We need to choose the lines individually. Choose the offset tool. I'm not sure why that's not showing up. Okay, so it's doing the offset now. I don't know why it's not showing on the in the window. But let's do a six inch offset. And there we go. And then you can see how the, the 3D shape is taking place. This is just a 2D box within a box. So using the push pull utility, or tool I should say, you can see that, or you will be able to see after this is done auto saving, um, the, the kind of the core mechanic in, in how SketchUp works and you create something in 2D space and then using the push pull tool you drag it into 3D space and you know it seems uh, the, the image should, should uh, speak for itself and how that works. Um, you notice the dimension in the lower box so you can type in dimensions because you're never going to be able to push pull it accurately. I'm going to type in 9 feet and we now have a 20 by 20 by 9 foot tall box. So one thing we need to do is to give our little room a door. So we're gonna just choose a random spot. Let's make the door seven feet high. That's a common door size. And let's make it say 42 inches wide. And then we don't need to type in the dimension because we just drag it back down. And again, using the push pull tool here, we can push through and, oops, must have made a mistake. Let's do six. And you can see here how I've created the door. So using that same method, let's create a few windows. And let's do three feet. I'm sorry. Let's do five feet by three feet by five feet and voila let's put another one here five feet by three feet and this doesn't have to be super detailed let's do this kind of weird uh, long window here do five feet by nine feet by five feet and 
Let's do another three, five foot down. Three, oh, that doesn't look right. Let's do five foot tall by three feet. You got to be lined up or it won't work. Five foot by. Which axis? Don't want to be on the green axis. You can see the green guided axis here can help you if you get kind of lost like I just did. Five feet. Three feet. And let's do one more and you'll see why. And I'm just choosing random spots so these quote unquote windows are not going to line up very well. But that's okay. You'll get the gist. Alright. Now we have our windows drawn, but we need to push them through. And let's push them through six inches. Six inches. If you don't push them through six inches, you'll get something like that, which is not something you want uh, when trying to create a window. So let's do six inches. And oh, looks like I lost a line there. Six inches. Let's draw our line back in. Back to our push pull tool. And six inches. So now we have our room with our very uneven, ugly windows. And but the room itself is also ugly, and it's not going to look very good if we hop in and look at that in VR. So let's go ahead and give it a paint job so we can very easily color and paint these walls like so. And then choosing a different material we can give it, oops, wrong one, we can give it a hardwood floor. So we have this room, hardwood floors, blue walls, a door, and a few windows. But just for entertainment's sake, I am going to give it some kind of 3D text. And because this is VR Roundtable, why not use VR Roundtable? And let's place it. You can place it along any surface and it rotates it for us. Let's put it in here and above there. And we now have that, and you can see it has some depth to it. Okay, so we have our room. Now, SketchUp includes a, a online sort of warehouse database where you can download desks and furniture and cars and arcade cabinets, hospital beds, you know, kind of whatever you're looking for. But in an effort to make this video less boring, I went ahead and grabbed a computer desk. And I had it stuck out to the side. So I'm going to go grab it. And using the move tool, I am going to drag it into our room. I'll put it all the way out here. And we can set this up kind of somewhere in the middle of the room is fine. And you can see our desk is sitting in there on the floor like a desk would be. So there you have it. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to explore this in virtual reality. Okay. We are now in virtual reality. We are in the prospect app made by iris and when you first launch your model eh, you are presented with it in a uh, sort of on an architects type table and using the controller you can spin you can look at it spin it each way you can kind of poke your head through and you'll get a cutaway and this is really uh, cool for viewing the full model and I see a lot of uses for this, but what I think is more useful is being able to hop right into it. So like this, you get a teleport pin and you have to put it somewhere. You can even put it up on the walls, but let's just put it at the entryway. And now I'm in the room. If I look out into nothing, there's nothing there, uh, but I'm in the room and it is one-to-one -one space. 
and you can walk around as long as your room scale space uh, identifies it. And you can also teleport as you get around. So let's hop off over next to this window. And I should have put some color in the window seal, but I didn't. But you can look out the window. You can see the walls up there and the window seal. You can come over to this kind of weird um, wide window that I made. You can look up at our text of VR Roundtable. And, you know, it, it had a six inches of depth. And that seems to be fairly true. Um, we got our computer desk that we downloaded off a of 3D warehouse. Um, if you wanted to design your own computer desk, maybe a, a VR gaming sled or something, you could do this in SketchUp and then walk around. Interestingly, I also found some, oops, some VR, uh, some HTC Vive models in SketchUp. So I made sure I put them on the desk. You can kind of see here that the um, the program does use very well reasonably a one to one tracking, or one to one tracking, one to one um, space dimensions. So you know this is a book. This chair seems to be a size. These monitors, you know, you kind of got the keyboard. So it's a very cool um, tool if you're going to remodel, say your house, or if you're going to remodel. Uh, your kitchen, if you're going to build something, uh, maybe you're going to make a new um, speaker enclosure. Um, maybe you're going to design a playset for your kids. You can kind of get on top of the desk. So you can get up on any surface, which is kind of unique. And then what the program also features is it has a few options. You can change the time of day, turn shadows off and on, which and this simple design doesn't do much, but we can change the time of day and kind of see it becomes nighttime. So this is what this room would look like at night in the moonlight, I guess, uh, sort of at sunset and so forth, which is kind of a, a cool feature, I guess, if you really have a use for it. I personally don't. Um, you can turn layers off and on, which puts me into nowhere because I only had the one layer, but you know, maybe I would, um, put a, a ceiling on this and have the ceiling be a layer or, or something like that. And then we hit home, we can zoom back out to our tabletop. And just for reference, we can get on top of the wall and tightrope along this. Um, this does give you a sense of, you know, I do feel like I am standing on a nine foot wall right now and that I may fall. Unfortunately, it doesn't actually track you so I can step out and, and <laughs> not actually fall, uh, but that's okay. And that's, that's really not important. So back down and we are done. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. I hope you have use for it. This is incredibly powerful. If you already have an HTC Vive, uh, both SketchUp is, ha has a free version. They also have a paid version, but um, nothing that I've shown you in this video requires the use of paid apps with the exception of the sun settings and the layer settings. Um, you have to get the pro version of, of Prospect from, from Iris VR. Uh, but other than that, you can do all of this for free, and I hope you get some enjoyment from this video. Thanks for watching.